Hey guys, in this video, I'm reviewing one of your websites. So a viewer reached out to me and said, hey Chris, can you give me some help with some keyword research? And I said, of course. So in this video, I'm breaking down keywords, collections pages, and pages to find some low hanging fruit keywords to help this website and these pages rank on Google. So if you're interested, stay tuned, let's check it out. So if you guys don't know, my name is Chris Brown. I'm the founder of Blue Water Marketing, which specializes in e-commerce, search engine optimization, content marketing, and social media. And in this video, like I said, one of my subscribers, Anthony from EV Mux, reached out and said, hey man, I started a website and I'm looking to figure out how to get some of these pages to rank. And if you're interested, check out EV Mux, especially if you're into live streaming, because these guys know what it is. And you can check out Anthony's website at streamdesigns.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you guys are looking for overlays and different things to make your live streaming more effective, click those, check them out, and let's get into the site review. So streamdesigns.com, the goal is to make your live streams more professional. So what Anthony does is he sells countdown timers, transitions, and overlay packages. So that's what we're gonna be reviewing today is the breakdown of this using SEMrush, which if you're interested, you can click the affiliate link down below and I'll make a couple bucks, makes everybody happy and keeps this channel growing. So the first step that I did is I went into SEMrush and I looked, and so Stream Designs is a brand new website. Goal was to launch this, and start making a little bit of cash on the side. So we can't pull too much information in terms of opportunities just yet. What we're gonna do is dive even deeper. So at the moment, Stream Designs does rank for a couple of keywords. So the first one I'm gonna focus on is Timer Overlay Streamlabs. And we're gonna go right here, we're gonna look at the SERP analysis, and we're gonna see these various pages that actually do rank on Google. And you can see there's 40 people and the keyword difficulty is not challenging at 23%. So we're gonna go and look at the collections page. So countdown timer overlays, surprise, surprise, it's exactly what it should be showing. And so the, because there's only four products, not too much information we can do just yet, but we're gonna keep diving deeper. So we wanna go back here and we wanna see who owns this keyword. So we're gonna look and it's WN3D. And the challenge here is this is one of their blogs. So right off the bat, you know we're gonna have a word count problem based on this blog in comparison to Anthony's collection page. So first step is going to be to highlight all of this and I'll show you why. We just wanna get the main content and we're gonna go and we are going to right click and check out Word Counter Plus if you're interested. It's a great Chrome extension and it will show you that there's 1,129 words. So in comparison to Anthony's page, clearly we're seeing a discrepancy on copy. So Anthony, first tip, write some more copy about your countdown timer overlays. You can associate them more so with Streamlabs as a secondary keyword, because Streamlabs is going to be the keyword that we found on SEMrush. So if you go from position 16, which is about halfway down the second page, to the first page, maybe you get 30, 40 more people per month. The next one. Going down a little bit more on this list, what I'm looking for here is figuring out which ones are informational searches, commercial searches, or transactional, which we're gonna find right here, which is my stream timer. Now what we're doing is we're looking at his product page. So stream countdown timer sleek is the page. So we're looking, we've got copy, we've got FAQs. So in terms of product page optimization, this one's pretty good where it shows you everything that you're going to get, works perfectly with all these different platforms and the cost as well as the options. So let's go back into SEMrush to figure out who has this position because at position 34, you're on the top of the fourth page essentially. So we're gonna need to get that increase. So let's go into how we can do that. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to beat out Microsoft, but we can check out appmanuals.com, and it is a whole page, which is not secure, all about 
timers and what it integrates with. So right off the bat, I mean, the overall user experience of streamdesigns.com is going to be way better than this. This site is kind of weird, looks sketchy, page authority of zero. Then we're going to go to Apple, of course, that's going to be very challenging to beat out Microsoft and Apple. But if you go to mystreamer.azure.whatever this website is, it doesn't even load. So right now I'm seeing a huge opportunity to get this page ranked. Now, going back to the SERP analysis, we want to figure out because it is a transactional keyword, that means people are seeking out my stream timer. They're ready to make that purchasing decision. They're ready to capitalize on it. So what do we need to do? It looks like the number one thing we need to do is build out some backlinks to this page, quality backlinks. If you guys are interested in learning more about how to get backlinks, you can click this video right up here, which breaks down four of my favorite ways to get free high quality backlinks. And if you're finding this video useful and you want me to do something like this for you, just let me know. I'll break it down step by step on the steps you need to take in order to get certain pages to rank. So going back down here, we have another collections page, which is going to be the OBS countdown timer overlays, which is position 16. So anything that we are on the second page or the bottom of the first page, the most valuable thing is going to beef up your content to be even more informative. How these work on different platforms, the benefits, how you built them, what they get, what's in the manual elaborate make it exciting for the user so that they want to get your overlay and take that information beef up your content especially on the collections pages and if you're looking for information on collections pages you can click this video which i broke down how to optimize collection pages to rank on google to drive thousands of people to your website so going through and it's really challenging if you don't have SEMrush or Ahrefs or one of these tools to identify these low hanging fruit opportunities. Stream overlay package. Now you can see here at the bottom, it's a 55. It's going to be very difficult to rank. So what I want to look at are who is ranking here. So you'll see just the immense difference on the volume of products that these guys have complete stream package which is exactly what we're trying to rank here, stream overlay package. We're gonna dive a little bit deeper now. So I've given you the baseline of what we wanna look for, what keywords are important, and then increasing the word count to be quality information to your customer. So the next step, we wanna dive into the actual keyword. We're gonna go back down here, stream overlay package. We're gonna copy that. And then we're going to go up to the keyword magic tool and we're going to put in stream overlay package so we have a monthly volume of 430 people per month we have two very difficult keywords but then we have essentially not applicable meaning no one is really ranking for these search terms all right so we're back we searched for stream overlay package in the SEMrush keyword magic tool. This is gonna be broad keywords that aren't necessarily specific to stream designs collections page, but we're trying to find some low hanging fruit to get this page ranked. So as you guys can see, we have a huge variance of keyword difficulties on the above of the fold, 70, 69, 70, 56. These are gonna be tough. I mean, these are challenging. You're gonna need backlinks you're going to need more words you're going to need more content for people to digest so that the google bot is crawling this and picking up keywords but as we scroll down a little bit we have full league of legends package stream overlay with a score of zero now the volume is zero but we've been seeing a lot of zero volume search terms that are actually driving some decent traffic and then all of a sudden your site's being found and being visited by more people Reloaded stream overlay package. So you might not want to have your collection page be any of these, but maybe you just found an opportunity to create more overlays based on reloaded stream overlay, full white League of Legends package stream overlay, full League of Legends Twitch package stream overlay. These are showing more opportunities than what you're going to find up here. So overall, first step is I would leave this top exactly the way it is but below your products i would write more information 
about your countdown timer overlays. Get people excited to purchase these. They're $10. The price point isn't so high where you have to convince them, but refer back to how important it is to use these ones specifically and the variety of benefits they'll get from it. So next step, we're going to go to Stinger Transition Overlays. We're going to go back into our SEMrush keyword research tool. So now that we've looked at the overlay packages, what we want to see now is if there's any opportunities for transition overlays, which apparently there isn't. All right, so now we're checking out whether or not there's any transition overlay volumes based on this collections page. And so going through it, we can see three out of the eight or so are transactional. So we've just identified that there's potentially a couple hundred people a month searching for circle transition overlay, Premiere Pro transition overlay, which might not be applicable, and then Butterfly. So these ones are very interesting because they're super specific. There's not too much information here on them, except for the circle transition, which is going to be all YouTube and then story blocks. But there's opportunities here. So not to say you want to change your collections page, but if you can create a product page about a circle transition overlay, you have an opportunity to easily capture 110 people per month. So overall, streamdesigns.com is a brand new website. There is room for improvement as always, but the framework is there and the research now needs to be done in order to rank. There are opportunities out there. Maybe it's that you break apart all of these overlay colors in order to be their individual products. And now you're growing the amount of products on your collections page so you can compete more with a nerd or die.com which has multiple overlays on their site. The next item, beef up your collections page copy. Write more copy on these pages in order for Google to find that there's relevant information that they should be showing to people who are searching for your products. The last one, build more backlinks. So with a domain authority of four and an authority score in that same ballpark, your site's brand new. It is extremely challenging to rank pages that are brand new. So understand that search engine optimization is the long haul. It's going to take time. But if you start building backlinks three, four, five a month, something that shouldn't take too long, you'll start to see those rankings increase. Identifying which pages are most important should be where the backlinks are being built to and then you get to benefit from the fruits of your labor in about six to eight months. I hope I answered all your questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested, you can do this for your own website. So if you've gotten this far in the video, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. Really would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and send me your website. I will review it happily because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys out. This is what I love doing. This is why I'm in marketing to help grow businesses and to help people who are starting out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.